My name is Christopher Cousia. I'm an artist living in Trinidad in the Caribbean. I'm going to talk a little bit about the work of Sandra Brewster. And the title is, Even in my dream, the ground I knew I must not relinquish. see a large wall that looks like it's gridded, like, like it's tiled, inferring, you know, wallpaper, tessery from, you know, mosaics. And think you're wild to figure out it's a person, but there's a presence. There's something there or someone there. It kind of has a cartographic feeling because of the, the grids, you know. The work coming from her Blur series is a very interesting project because it is actually a portrait of a very complex and peculiar writer, originally from Ghana, Wilson Harris. And I think it's very symptomatic of his work and his relationship to um, the whole kind of literary tradition and cultural imagination of the Caribbean. And also, I suppose, Sandra's journey of, of struggling to grasp or know something about her roots and roots, living in a place like Canada, but coming from a place like the Caribbean. What we call Guyana is really just the coastline, the colonial settlement. Guyana goes all the way down into the continent. If you've ever flown over the Amazon, it just looks like broccoli, you know, it's, it's scary. It's a very fertile, sort of green place. Um, but this is, these are photocopies, uh, photo transfers, you know. So it also has a kind of inference in terms of the digital world and ink and the kind of mysterious schemes through which things become images because the Amazon is sort of unfathomable. You know, the, you see all this green and, it, and all these configurations and, and you tally that with how you try to contain it within your imagination through words, through thoughts. And when you read Harris's work, it reflects that myriad sort of unfathomable nature of land and space that is the Amazon. And it calls into question the boundary between what we know, what we feel, what we kind of struggle to understand. And that definitely defines the encounter one has with Sandra's work and what Guyana represents as a site within the Caribbean diaspora, within the Caribbean itself. <laughs> 